Welcome to the Contractor Success Map Podcast. I'm your host, Bradley Hart, and I'm an expert on how you can get the most out of your contracting company. The reason I designed this show is to help you turn your contracting company from a people-dependent money pit into a process-dependent cash cow to have the freedom you dreamed of when you start your business. Every Friday, we're releasing podcasts and information to help you get the most out of your contracting company. Be sure to join us at www.contractorsuccessmap.com and subscribe to receive our latest articles and special offers. And the best part, it's all free, just for you. Hello, listeners. Welcome back or welcome to our podcast. I hope you are doing great and in excellent health. This is Norhalma delivering our 451st episode by Sherry DeHart. You can listen to the other sessions on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever podcast content is published. It's non-sequential. You can listen to the topics that interest you the most. Sherry's post is entitled, What is Your Contractor's Superpower? Let's get right into it. As a construction contractor, much of your world is outside the box. You make what seems impossible and turn it into a finished product. The whole house remodel, kitchen or bath remodel, new roof, install an attic fan, replace windows, deck patio, hot tub, swimming pool, children's backyard playhouse. The handyman contractor fixes things which are very important to the clients who need them. Fixing a door, hanging a closet rod, moving something, removing something. Compared to a whole house remodel, it may seem like you are not doing anything. The reality is that to the person who needed the work done, that a few simple little things may change their whole world for the better. Your work as a handyman contractor brings joy to their life. Be proud of it. No job is insignificant, and no construction business is too small for us. I want to be the person who says, Merry Christmas. You have earned it. It's the holiday season, which means everyone is busy thinking of everyone else. Wrapping up the end of the year, getting one more thing done that makes sense. Many holiday movies are variations of Scrooge, based on this is good and that is bad. Anyone who has not had any challenges in life has been either extremely lucky or in a very protected bubble. Life happens. Challenges happen. Some good, some bad, depending on the perception of the event. We can all look back and see what we might have done differently. The question is, Did we make a decision? Did that decision seem to be the best decision to make based on the information on hand at that time? If you and I make a thoughtful decision, not a knee-jerk reaction, then it is a good decision. Sometimes we think, I should have, could have, if and only, but, because, and in the blank. These are negative thoughts that are not useful. All negative thoughts drag you down into a wrong mental place. I offer the serenity prayer as a beacon of truth. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Between religions, the name of God may change. However, from my viewpoint, the message of the prayer is the same all over the world, no matter the religion. The key is that you have a choice to believe, what you want to believe, and how to practice your faith. The sun rises and sets for each one of us every day. Embrace life. Enjoy the day, moment by moment. Do something fun. Watch the sunset. Listen to the birds sing. Hear a train whistle. Rejoice in the laughter of children, for they are embracing their world with complete abandonment at that moment. Smile. Think happy thoughts. The simplest things are free. Every day, 
everyone can find a reason to be frustrated if they are looking from that particular view. The other driver is driving too slow, too fast, recklessly, music is too loud, passing out hand gestures, honking their horn, on their cell phone, texting, car issues of smoke from the tailpipe, car smells, bad tires, no headlights. The list of things to be annoyed about is endless. No one is exempt. While we are annoyed, there is nothing more dangerous than someone crossing the middle of the street at night wearing all dark clothes, either being clueless of the danger or playing chicken with cars. Drivers everywhere at some point during the, the day or nighttime hours will see it happen repeatedly. It used to be when we heard someone who appeared to be talking to themselves that they were, to put it politely, a little trouble in the head, an old-fashioned saying. Now with cell phones and wireless headsets or earpieces, it is a little harder to pick out the people who appear to be talking to invisible friends. So what is your contractor's superpower? The power of choice. Increase your pricing, which projects do you say yes to, collect job deposits, ask the client for money, your working hours, the area of the country where you want to live. You have the power to choose what is best for you, your loved ones, and your construction company. It is easy to listen to the news and become depressed, agitated, or think the day's challenges are hopeless to overcome. Mother Teresa of Calcutta said it best. We, the willing, led by the unknowing, are doing the impossible for the ungrateful. We have done so much with so little for so long. We are now qualified to do anything with nothing. Life is a journey that happens one day at a time, one decision at a time, one choice at a time. Tomorrow is a new day with every potential of being happier if we allow it. We will continue empowering and advocating for contractors and construction business owners like you. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And that ends Sherry's blog post. If you want to chat about growing your construction business, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You can email Sherry at Sherry, S-H-A-R-I-E, Sherry at fasteasyaccounting.com or you can give her a call at our toll-free number 1-800-361-1770 or Washington State local phone line 206-361-3950. On behalf of our team here at Fast Easy Accounting, this is Norhalma. Thank you all for listening. Have a Merry Christmas. Stay safe and healthy. And stay tuned for upcoming episodes on how to turn your contracting company into a process-dependent cash cow. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in. You're listening to the Contractor Success Map. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a five-star rating and review here on iTunes. And make sure to head over to www.contractorsuccessmap.com to subscribe to receive the latest articles and special offers. If you'd like to discuss your business strategy, simply click on the button labeled Strategy Session. And the best part, it's all free just for you.